Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. So today we are going to do Italian pot roast and we're gonna do it in the crock pot. And this is my very first step-by-step -step with Penny video. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. So we have a roast of beef. You could easily use a roast of pork. We have some baby potatoes that have been washed. And part of the reason for me doing this video is I saw someone do a pot roast with radishes. So we're gonna try that today. And it's called Italian pot roast because we're gonna use Italian dressing. So I've never tried that before either. So we'll check that out together. Caitlin is here and she's gonna peel about five carrots for me. And uh, we have three smallish onions. Um, it's only Barry and I that like onions. Uh, so I just did three. Uh, but if your family likes onions, feel free to do four, five, even six, whatever will fit in your crock pot. Okay, so Caitlin's going to get started peeling the carrots for me, and while I do the onions. So come a little closer, Barry. <clears throat> we want the onions to keep their shape in the crock pot. So this is the end of the onion, and we're not going to cut it back here. We're going to just take off the root. And you can just see there's a little bit of root still left on the onion. That's what we want because that will still hold the onion together. Okay, so now we're gonna take the top off. And when we take the top off, we're gonna go through the middle of the root because we are cutting the onions in half, but we want them to stay that way as much as possible. Now, then we're gonna peel it so when you peel an onion, now I'm using the knife. You could use your fingernails or a smaller knife. You just wanna peel off the outside part. And sometimes the first layer of onion will come with it as well. Um, and if that does happen, that's okay, because most of the time, the first layer of an onion is a bit tough anyway. So we'll do that again. We're just gonna take off the very end of the root, and there's still some root left. Then we'll take off the top. We'll put it on the top, we'll lay it down on the top part so we can still see the root. And we'll go about halfway through the root. And then we'll peel it. So this being a step-by-step -step video. How you doing there, Caitlin? That one's good. Okay, thank you. Don't peel all the, all the carrot away. <laughs> This being a step-by-step -step video, it's meant for you to be able to do this along with me in real time at your house. So if you're running a little behind myself and Caitlin, you can certainly pause your video and catch up. Or, you know, if you're faster than I am, which lots of people are, then you can fast forward. So it's totally up to you and your convenience. So we've got one more onion left. I'm just gonna cut off the root. We still have some root. So we'll cut off the top, lay it down on the top so we can see the root. And we're gonna cut through the middle of the root to try and keep the onion together as it cooks. I can't promise that it will, but that's the intentions. <laughs> okay, oh, there's a little bit of peel in there. All right, oh, that one was easy. So now I'm gonna take these radishes and I'm gonna cut off their top because this is actually the root, the little stringy thing on the bottom. So I'm gonna cut off the top and just lay it over here for Caitlin. Oh, the top of that one was already cut off and the root's already cut off. So I don't want to take off too much of the, of the radish. And the root's already off that one. And off this one. So this is something you can get the kids to help with because all you need to take the little root off is a pair of scissors. And that's what I'm gonna ask Caitlin to do. How you doing there, Caitlin? Good? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, don't take all the carrot off, just the top layer. There you go. Thank you. So, on the video that I saw, when the radishes were cooked, they were pink. And apparently, they go a, sim a similar texture to a potato. Now, I love radishes. I love them in a salad and never had a roasted radishes. I've never had a cooked radish. So we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Oh look, that one's got a split. But that's okay. He's clean. It's all good. It's all good. And this one got the end already cut off. <clears throat> this one has the end already cut off. Is just an ordinary package of radishes that come in the bag. That one's already cut off. That one's pretty well cut off. <laughs> okay, just don't take off the carrot, just the skin part. See, that's already done. We just want to take off this part. Okay. right here. Done. Okay, one more. So I'm keeping the potatoes a little separate because I want them to go on top of the vegetables and roast in the crock pot, which by the way, I already have heating. So you want to preheat your crock pot um, and that way you get more of an accurate cooking time because uh, once you put all this in the crock pot, if it's not preheated, it's going to take a good half an hour or so for that to heat up and actually start cooking. So that's why I have that on high, preheating, and it's going to be on high for about four hours. Well done, Caitlin. Excellent. So what I need you to do now is all these little root thingies on the radishes. Just snip them off like that and then we're going to put them in this bowl okay there you are put them in that bowl yep right in the bowl okay so now i'm just cutting the ends off the carrots because caitlin's already peeled them now i'm going to cut them on a diagonal that's just because that's the way i like to do it you certainly don't have to if you don't want to um but you don't want them too small because they may go a bit soggy, but if they're too big, yeah, he's split, but that's okay. Just cut off the little ends. No, no, cut off the ends. But if they're too big, they might be hard. So when you get the end of a carrot, which is normally larger, you want to cut that one in half like that. And I'm going to cut him in half too. There we go. And I had about five carrots. Depends on the size of your carrot, how much your family likes carrots. Totally up to you. And again, the end of this one was really thick. So we'll just cut those in half. There we go. Yeah, leave that one out. That was just a little tiny one that I'd probably just go to mush in the crock pot. All right, and again, cut the bigger one, bigger ends in half. And I think that one's okay. And we've got a little bit of stuff there, so we'll just cut that off. <clears throat> You don't put your fingers in the way. There we go. Okay, so we've got our onions, we've got our carrots, we've got our radishes, and we've got our potatoes. 
So now we're gonna move over to the preheated crock pot and get that going. So we'll take the meat over to the crock pot. And that's preheated, so make sure you use a, an oven mitt or something to keep your hands safe. We don't have oven um, That's okay. And we should buy more. We will. We've got oven mitts, Caitlin. We and we're just buy safety glove. Cutting gloves, yes, cutting I keep, glove. I keep forget, forgetting to buy a cutting glove for you. So I'm just put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the crock pot. Now we're gonna put in the roast and we'll lay this over here. Now, Caitlin, can you pass me the bowl of vegetables? So now we're gonna put the bowl of vegetables in and we'll just spread those around a little bit around the sides. Now be careful because this is hot. Okay. Then we are going to take, try and put the onions on top of the roast because it will add a lot of flavor to that lovely roast. Here we go. And we'll put a couple over there. Yay! So can you pass me the Italian dressing? Thank you very much. So give that a little bit of shake. And we're gonna pour about half of that bottle. There we go. So about half of that bottle over everything. Now can I have the potatoes? Now I'm gonna put the potatoes on top. Now, if you were doing this in the oven instead of the crock pot, you would do the exact same thing only in your roaster pan. And I put it in the oven, food. put it in the oven uh, for about, let me see, on 350, about an hour and a half until the roast and everything is cooked through. And there you have it, supper is done. So we're gonna let this go for four hours and then we'll be back to show you supper. Hi everybody, back again. So supper's ready. It was four hours on high in the crock pot or like I said, you could do it in a conventional oven, uh, 350, 375 for about an hour and a half in a covered roaster. So of course, when you take the cover off, whether it's your roaster or your crock pot, you need to be careful because you don't want the steam to burn, okay? So, oh my gosh, that smells delicious. So I'm just gonna plate some of that up on the platter here so that we can actually get to the roast. Oh, look, it's a pink radish, it's so cute. And as you can see in a crock pot, it creates its own steam, its own liquid. Oh, it smells delicious. When are they ever gonna come up with smell vision I tell you, the first person I heard say that was Rachel Ray one day, and it was so funny. So, the potatoes look wonderful. Oops, road radish. Okay, look at that. I'll get out some of those onions that were on top of the roast. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, so now we're gonna try and get that roast out all in one piece, which shouldn't be too bad because it's, yeah, it's tied together. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Now, if you wanted to, you could make a slurry of cornstarch. Basically what that is, is a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch and a couple of tablespoons of cold water. Has to be cold water. And then whisk it in and just leave it there for a few minutes, whether it's in your crock pot or your roaster, because it's still nice and hot. So the heat will then thicken the, the, the liquid because the cornstarch will begin to disperse itself around and make more like a gravy. But that's optional. You don't have to do that. So one of the reasons, of course, that I did this today was to taste the radishes. So let's give it a go. It did cut like a firm potato. Ah, 
That is actually really nice. It tastes like a really mild radish because radishes can be fairly strong. But that is really, really nice. I like it. So I hope you give it a go. And of course, make it your own. If you don't like carrots, put in a different root vegetable. Squash, um, turnip, whatever you like. Make it your own. Give it a go. Enjoy. Bye. Oh, that's lovely.